It was announced early last year that a David Bowie biopic would be in the works, and this announcement immediately faced a lot of controversy among fans because shortly after this movie was announced, Duncan Jones, David Bowie's son, took to Twitter and said that this movie will not feature any David Bowie music, as the family, who now owns the rights to David's music now that he's dead, did not give the movie their blessing. So, already the odds are severely stacked against this movie's favor, but to put the cherry on top, reportedly David himself, before he died, did not want a biopic made on him, hence why no biopics have ever been made on him while he was still alive. So not only are you spitting on a dead man's family who don't even want you making a movie on their deceased loved one, but you're also spitting on the very same dead man who your movie is based on. Bravo! This is nothing more than a cheap cash-in on Bowie's amazing legacy, and I'm so glad that this movie is at a severe disadvantage because I'm almost certain that this movie wasn't targeting people like me who are already huge fans of Bowie's music, but the casuals instead. The same people who are only familiar with the big hits that still play on the radio to this day, like, say, Starman or Space Oddity, and, you know, the same people who look at Aladdin Sane's album cover and say, that's Ziggy Stardust, those people. And since this movie won't feature the same hook as movies like Rocket Man or Bohemian Rhapsody, where they featured a lot of really iconic songs from the artists that those movies are based on, I'm sure the general populace will take notice of the severe lack of David Bowie songs in this David Bowie biopic and say, eh, pass, this doesn't have any of the catchy tunes that I still hear on the radio a lot. This movie doesn't cover Bowie's entire near 50-year career because that would be insane to try to jam-pack into one movie, but rather, it's going to focus on Bowie's first trip to America where he realizes that America hasn't really fully embraced Bowie yet and he hasn't really captured the attention of the uh, of the American crowd, and it's basically him trying to find his footing and trying to find his Ziggy Stardust persona that would later catapult him into worldwide success. You know, it's another one of those movies where, you know, at first this, fam this soon-to-be famous artist isn't accepted yet, and they try to find acceptance, and at first, you know, record companies don't like his music, and yada yada yada. It's the same story that all of these biopics recycle, and I never really found that storyline to be very enticing because you kind of sort of know how what the outcome will be. A scene dropped from the movie a few weeks ago and an actor named Johnny Flynn portrays Bowie in this movie and that's him in the picture uh, dressed up as Bowie. Um, he kind of resembles him. I, I say they did a good job at making him look like Bowie, but he does not have the voice at all. He His voice does not resemble Bowie's, and I, I, I get it, you know. Bowie has a very unique voice and he has a very unique charm that hardly anyone else in this world could replicate, but at least get someone that sounds a little more Bowie-ish than Johnny Flynn, and this scene seems so lethargic and boring. The dialogue is rather slow and boring, the camera was completely stationary throughout the entire scene, which begs me to wonder, will this movie have the exact opposite problem as the Bohemian Rhapsody movie where, you know, there are camera cuts out the ass in basically every scene of the movie? Uh, and I know it might be unfair to write off a whole movie based on one scene, but this is the scene that the studio put out as like a first taste for the audience before this movie comes out. So is it really that uh, is it really that unfair to make assumptions uh, about this movie based on the scene that the, that the studio wants people to see prior to this movie releasing? I also listened to a song that Johnny Flynn made for this movie, and I assume he's going to be making songs for this movie as a substitution for the. Songs that they can't include in this movie, and Jesus Christ, like he's a good singer, he's talented. I, I'm not going to deny his talent, but Jesus Christ, his singing voice sounds absolutely nothing like Bowie, the person he's supposed to portray in this movie. Like, if you can't get the the basic sound of his voice down, which again, I know he had a very unique voice, which is really hard, really hard to replicate for most people, but if you can't get someone who doesn't sound remotely like Bowie, then don't go with that actor, especially if you're going to have them sing songs that are supposed to replace the Bowie songs that were supposed to be in this movie, but the family didn't want because you're basically shitting on a dead man's wishes. This movie is nothing more than a sad, pathetic, and downright disrespectful cash-in. It's even called Stardust, you know, like Ziggy Stardust, David Bowie's most popular persona and era in general throughout his entire near 50-year career. 
Uh, it's basically pinning Bowie as just that one persona, like, that's all that mattered in his near 50-year career. That's all he'll, that's all he's remembered for, not his uniqueness, not his, uh, ambition to always be different and buck trends, you know, not any of that. It's the, it's the freaky Zeke Stardust character that's most notable about his career. I'm not gonna watch this movie, and neither should you. Don't even pirate it, don't, don't, don't watch it at all, because it's more than likely going to be a train wreck, and since it's a movie that completely disrespects the wishes of not only a dead man's family, but the dead man themselves. Why should you give it any of your time? Even if you know it's going to be bad, even out of curiosity, don't even bother. I'm so tired of these money-hungry leeches out in Hollywood who are so desperate to make a profit that they'll stoop to being downright disgusting and disrespectful. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Bye-bye.